Well, what we have here is topazio bean, or some people in different regions call this cranberry bean, or they call it October bean. Look how pretty those pods are. They have that reddish pink and mottling on them. Now, these are grown a lot up in the mountains, North Georgia and Tennessee and Kentucky. And uh, most time it's eaten as a shelling bean. So we'll shell these out. And you see there, there's a big old white bean in there. They can dry these and preserve them for a long, long time and use them for dried beans or shell them out and cook them green. Now these right here are coming off in the middle of June, end of June. It's been really, really hot, but we had them on drip irrigation, so we made a decent crop. A lot of times people like to come, have these come off around October, hence October beans. They seem to do really good growing in the fall. Now this variety right here is about 65 to 70 days to maturity. So if we plant them here in zone 8 between the 1st and 15th of August, we're going to be harvesting these beans in the month of October, which is perfect timing for us. It's a great food source, it's a good bean, and it's a pretty bean. So today we're going to can these tapazio beans. I laid them on a shelf in our break room and just let them dry for about six to eight weeks. We're going to start off today by giving them a good rinse. Pick out any beans that are not suitable to can. Any with stings or some had a little bit of mold on them. Really brown. I thought I could just wash them in this strainer, this colander, but that didn't work. So I had to put them in some water and uh, rinse them a couple of times. Now the recipe calls just to put a half a cup of the dried beans in a pint jar. Another recipe called for a whole cup and one called for three-fourths cup. I went with the one cup of dried beans. Now these have not been soaked. These have not been cooked. They're just strictly the dried beans. Now in hindsight, I should have only put a half a cup. I'm adding one teaspoon of salt. This is totally optional. It's for seasoning only. You can leave this out. Next, we're adding some warm water to the jars, and you want to leave about a half inch headspace. Now, these beans are going to swell once they are in the pressure canner, and they must be done in the pressure canner. You could go ahead and add any seasoning that you would like in there also. Since this is my first time, I'm not going to add any seasoning. You want to clean the rims of the jars, make sure there's not any cracked places, anything that might prevent a seal. Here I have found one that has a little bit of a crack, so I'm going to have to swap out that jar. Next, I'm going to put on my warm lids and then my bands finger tight. I even thought about putting some meat in these so they would be already seasoned once they've been processed. Greg's planting some more of these for the fall and I think I may try that if these turn out well. So I'm placing them in my pressure canner. I do have the water warm. The water in my jars is warm. So there won't be any shock here. Once they are in the canner, put your lid on and turn your heat on high. Then you want to let the steam start venting out and start your timer for 10 minutes. Once it vents for 10 minutes, then put your weight on. Now we're going to do these on 10 pounds of pressure for 75 minutes. Once they have processed, and then your canner has went down to zero. Remove your weight and remove your lid, lifting it away from your face so that steam will not get you. I did have some siphoning, but that will be okay. And that's why I said in hindsight, I should have only put a half a cup of beans 
in this. And I did do a few quarts. They are so pretty. And this will be so easy to open these up. And they'll be already done. Just throw some seasoning in there and heat them up. Be a wonderful meal this winter. Now let them sit 12 to 24 hours. And then you want to remove your bands and check your seals by lifting with your fingertips. If the lid stays on, they are sealed. And all these did seal. Then you want to make sure you label them with what's in the jar and the year. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks. See you next time.